Hey, this is Leo at Lead Time. In today's video, I will show you the three ways to extract essential oil out of the plant material and explain how people did in the history and what are the benefits of its method. The first method is called expression. It's commonly used on the citrus material like a orange peel or lemon peel. When you squeeze the lemon peel, you will see the drop flying out of the skin. And within the drop, a tiny bit of essential oil mixed with water. In 19th century at Sicily, the Italian people used to manually squeeze the lemon peel onto a sponge and until the sponge is saturated and squeeze the liquid out of the sponge. One experienced the worker can make a one and a quarter pounds of a lemon squeeze. After that, they filter the liquid and let it settle until the oil separated from the water, then collect the orange essential oil. The second way is the extraction. They put the plant material mixed with a, a liquid that is called a solvent and the solvent will extract essential oil out of the material. There are three different solvents can be used. The first one is a volatile solvent like alcohol and the second is the most common one they use a fat. In 19th century, the French people use either olive oil or lard to extract rose or essential oil from the rose petals. What they did is that they put rose on top of the oil, they put the container onto a water bath, they heat up to the mild temperature and to accelerate the extraction process. But even though it still takes uh, 12 to 48 hours for one batch, until they test the material and make sure all the order has gone from the plant material. So that means this process is done. So they strain the oil and then put in the container again and refill with another batch of the material. And they keep the process for months until the oil has been saturated or the essential oil. And after that, they either use the oil as it is, or they use the alcohol to extract those essential oil out of the material. If they use olive oil, they just pour alcohol into the olive oil and then mix, shake, and then settle to separate the alcohol out of the olive oil because alcohol has a higher solubility for the essential oil so they extract them out of the olive oil then they keep using the olive oil for the next process and this is called the enfleurage if they use a lard then normally they cut those lard into a small pieces mix with the alcohol and do the same thing as they did with the olive oil and then reuse a lot. And the third solvent is the hot air. They blow the material and then collect the air, which has carried those essential oil out of the material. In terms of the efficiency, enfleurage has become a very popular because it uses a two process extraction. It can make a essential oil very pure and also keep the essential oil high quality. The third one is the distillation. Distillation is the one of the most common method. It can be used to almost any of the material to make essential oil. And also this is the only way you can make hydrosol. That's also called a flower water, like a rose water or lavender water. Distillation has two general ways. The one is a water distillation. That means you mix the material with water and then boil them and collect the steam. And the second one is called a steam distillation. So you put the material on top of the water so only steam will pass through the material and carry the essential oil out of the plant material and go through the condensation process which is the same with the water distillation. Comparatively, Steam distillation is uh, more efficient and uh, more safe because when you mix the material with water and then you're boiling, you gotta make sure you don't burn the material. With the water getting less 
and the material can be stick on the container somewhere either at the bottom or on the side of the container so that can cause the material to be burned overcooked this will ruin the flavor of your distillate the steam distillation because the material they will never touch heating portion so it become easy to control and also the temperature is more stable so in today's video i introduce you the three ways to extract essential oil from the plant herbs hopefully you learned something today and like the video subscribe to the channel share the video with your friends see you next time